Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to the uh, small mini series on my wife's uh, smart for four. Uh, so today we're going to carry on um, with installing the automatic headlight stalk. Um, as the title suggests, um, I've managed to uh, get it down as little as £30. Um, now the way I did that is everyone knows that the uh, smart car is basically a Renault Twingo and most of the uh, smart mercedes parts are shared with um renault so looking online the uh, the company that make the actual stalk themselves is a uh, valio and the part number the valio catalog number for the automatic headlight stalk um as much the same as the automatic wiper stalk uh, for the basically all the renaults of that year of the the same year 2016 onwards so you capture your twingo um and all that um are exactly the same as the uh, Smart for 2, Smart for 4 and the 453 series. Now, as you can imagine, um, if you were to put in, I would like a Mercedes uh, headlight stalk. Um, they're about £125. Um, the Renault ones are slightly cheaper. Now, um, going online onto eBay, it works exactly the same. Um, second hand um, headlight stalk, automatic headlight stalks for the smart cars come in at about £60 for... A, a half decent one that you you, you want to use um there's slightly cheaper ones on there but they're a little bit more battered um but obviously if you put a renault in there a renault like say capture or renault twingo 2016 onwards um they're coming in at about 30 pound luckily for me i found a 99p um bargain um put a bid in and, and managed to pick it up for like 16 quid in the end uh for a, a 2016 renault capture one um obviously puritans out there it has got a renault stamp on the part however like i say the valio catalog is exactly the same um so you can realistically get it all sorted for 30 pound or even less if you're lucky um so i'm gonna crack on okay so to to start with what we need to do is just remove um two torque 20 bit bolts which are one here and one underneath here Okay, and then to separate um, the top of cowling part, use your uh, panel tool. And if I remember right, there should be two clips. There's one there and one on the same side. There we go. You can see that just lifts up out the way. And you should be able to pull the bottom bottom piece down slightly as well. Under there. Like so. so to remove it, what you need is just to remove these two small little screws. And I'm going to need the smaller torque bit. Okay, so um, here we go again. So having uh, moved that apart, um, you need to torque 10 piece uh, just to undo these 
two screws and what you can do is um, remove this top piece first but I can't see where the clip is so we'll, what we'll do is remove these two two torque 10 pieces screws got one here one at the top And funny enough, looking at the um, stalk that's in the car, it actually has the Renault badge on it. So, we are literally doing a like-for-like -like swap on the Renault parts. Um, so, this is the uh, the back of the, the controller itself. What you have is obviously the main one, and you've got this other little one, this connector, uh, that sits, uh, comes down and sits just underneath here. Uh, which might be a little bit more awkward to get to because um, it sits just under there um, that's held in just by your little press press bit and that moves out so get a little screwdriver and that should just pop out I might have to just have a look underneath it might slightly difficult to film however so that sits just directly underneath there it is clipped in the cables sit behind a little little clip but that's very simple And that'll move out. And then you've just got a little, little tab to press down at the top, which is just there. Press that down, and that comes apart. So, very simply, here's the part that I took off. And as you can see, it's Valio. It's got the Renault stamp on there. And the new one, with the auto switch now again Valio and Renault and it's very simply it all just goes back the same way it came off so have a quick look underneath That's that's that pop back into there. And that sits back up into there. And it's literally just a case of replacing the screws. And putting everything back together. It's that quick, that simple. And now we lift this cover back up into place. It's got 
the two little hooks at the back. And that's it hooked back into place. So that is basically uh, the install complete. We're just going to um, give it a quick test and go from there. And um, what I would suggest before you start, um, I should have said this at the beginning, um, turn your wheel through 90 degrees um, so that the big part of the steering wheel is here. Uh, so you've got loads of room and access to the, to the, uh, the back here. Uh, makes it easier for the, the uh, screwdrivers. Um, but that is uh, as, as simple as it is. Um, we'll just give it a quick test now and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I've uh, turned the car on. As you can see, the uh, DLRs are on. Um, and what I'll do, I'll just put my hand over the, uh, the, the rain sensor, or the light sensor, and uh, it should automatically turn the lights on. And the DLR should go to the dimmer setting. Oh. So as you can see, the lights come on, and after a period of time, the lights go back off. Um, with the DLRs, I see they're flashing on the camera, but they are, I can assure you that they're not uh, they're, f they're not flashing in real life. Um, so there you go. There's the uh, install done. Um, took about ten minutes, and uh, for a little as thirty pound. Um, stay tuned. I've got the um, same for the automatic uh, window wipers coming up. Uh, as well as um, the fog lights and at the moment I'm just in the process of designing the um, DAB uh, radio add-on using the um, already built-in uh, aerial um, no sort of window aerial, no aerials attached to the window and so on um, full kind of OEM style uh, DAB plus um, which I'm hoping to do for around £50. Um, so stay tuned for that. Obviously, um, in the process of doing that, um, we're working out what the wiring for sort of like adding amps and line outs and stuff like that. So if anything, any of that is useful, um, drop me a comment and I'll, um, I'll help you out as much as I can. But thanks again for watching. Obviously, if you, the video is helpful, give it a like. Um, please subscribe to the channel because I've got lots coming up for the uh, Smart as, uh, as well as the Mercedes. Um, so thank you very much and stay tuned, catch you later.